So, but could, could the National Congress, so you're head of, right? Yes. All right. Could you not have voted to remove him from office? Do you have that power? Yes. Okay. Yes. Why didn't you do it that way instead of arresting him and putting him on a plane? Because we don't have the power to do that. Supposed to be the Supreme Court, not the Congress. All right. What? After the Supreme Court took the decision, in the Congress, we let uh, we read uh, inform, inform to do to explain what the wrongs, uh, what the uh, uh, effect he made against our Constitution uh, or against the, did, the Honduras. Why didn't the Supreme Court do it that way then, to to vote to sort of orderly remove him from office rather than use force? Well, they did that. They gave the order to the army to do that. But they gave the, the way we do it um, is that if we don't like our president, we say the president has committed something we call high crimes and misdemeanors. Okay. The Congress votes that he should have to face a trial in the Senate. Then there's a trial in the Senate, and the senators decide whether or not to throw the president out rather than sending our military into the White House. That's how we do it. We have this process. You don't have that kind of process? No, we don't. It's different. Okay. In Honduras, it uh, has to be the Supreme Court who point the people who is uh, doing something wrong, okay? And the, uh, uh, the judges uh, decide to do, uh, give the order to the army to do the thing. So 15 justices on your Supreme Court say a president has to go and they issue the order to the military and then the military must execute it. Right. Okay. All right. Um, in terms of the UN, are you going to be in the UN next, this, week, this month when uh, all the countries from around the world gather in New York? Will you be representing the Honduras? No, they don't recognize us. Okay. <laughs> uh, even they, I don't have no visa to go into the United States. Uh, this is a, I don't know if you say heronias. Her it's heronic. In uh, USA, in United Nations, a guy who's represent uh, in Honduras, he put bombs in 1980 here in Honduras. He, he put, put but wait a second, what? He put the, the man who represent, his name is Carlos uh, Jorge Arturo. Reina. All right, he's your representative at the UN? Yeah, he was representative of uh, Zelaya, not right. mine. All right, because Zelaya appointed him to represent the Honduras at the UN. The and, UN. And what about him? He put bombs in Honduras, and he didn't have no visa to get to the United States. Still, he's there. He's representing Zelaya there in the United Nations. All right, let me see if I have this straight. He has no visa to go to the United States, right. you represent, but Zelaya put him there, and it's the United right. Nations, so he can go there. And he, in the 80s, put bombs here? Yes. B bombs that blow Bomb, up? Bombs, bombs that blow up, yes. Why did he put oh, bombs oh, oh, here? I, I think the United States accused him and took him his visa for a long time ago. Why was he putting bombs here? Well, because they have a revolution here. They was against the government. So who's accused of putting the bombs here? The United States? Well, uh, in uh, some, accus some accusation here in Honduras, and after that, the United States took off the visa because that. They proved he'd been doing this thing. All right, yet he's your representative at the UN, and yes. he's going to be there when everyone uh, meets later this month. Well, he's going to be there. Yes, he's there. He's going to be there. The, the United Nations accept him, not us. Yeah, say he's a representative of Zelaya, and he is there. Even our our uh, ambassador, they took over. They put what Zelaya says. Has the United States ever complained that this is the representative, or have people in the Honduras ever complained that this is your UN representative? We complain against because we know it was a uh, confront the United States, and we want to be, have a good relation with the United States. But he says he's going to be there. And he's there. All right. Does he deny putting bombs in, in the Honduras? No, it, it, they have a proof he did. But does he say, I didn't do it, or does he say, I did it? Well, it's, uh, the uh, court says he, do. he did that. Okay, but he says he didn't, the court says well, he did. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm no right. being involved in this situation, but the United States took off his uh, visa because that. 
and he don't have a visa to be in the United States. Other than at the UN. All of the UN. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what did he do? What did he do before he became your ambassador to the United Nations? What was his job? Well, uh, many jobs. He had many jobs in the government. And he's close to Zelaya. Yes, he's close to Zelaya. Right. We are the same party. You know. Okay. Well, he's, but that's your party. It's too. Our party. Yes. So, do you know this guy? Yes. Yes. What do you think about him? His brother was uh, president of Honduras, Mr. Roberto Reina. What do you Carlos Roberto Reina. And, and what do you think about your ambassador to the UN? I think he's not seeing them democratic. He's seeing is the left left side. Is do you think that Zelaya is going to be at the United Nations? Do you expect him to be there? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't care. Would you like to go? No. Well, you know. Not until they says what we did in Honduras is correct. It's under our constitution. Well, your view, though, is uh, apparently is not being heard by. I mean, everybody's lined up against you. Right. You know, the United States, the European Union. I, mean, I can go through the list. You don't have anybody on your side, and the United States has, has pulled thirty-one million dollars from your country. Everybody, everybody knows in the whole world. If the United States says, okay, he did okay, everybody started saying, he said, okay. So what's going to happen? Well, I hope the best for my country. Is, can a deal be worked out with Mr. Zelay? I realize he cannot be present. No deal would be worked out, I take it from you, that he could be present until November. Yes. Okay, you wouldn't work out that deal? No, November. Until after January. Okay, at January. Well, the we elections. Have, we the have election. our new president. So, so would you be willing to let him come back till January as president? After? No, no. Could he return to the Honduras as president as long as he left in January when his term is up? No. Okay. Why? Because he's, he's no president since before the 28th. He's not the president of this country. Well, because he commit crime, no one, many crimes against our constitution. Well, there seem to be two types of crimes. There's the one crimes where he said that he's a crook taking money, right. right? And then there's the other one where he wants to become president for life. Right. Okay. Which is the one that's that's kept that's keeping him out of here? No, no, no. We accept him if he come to go to the uh, judges. No way. If, he is, if the judge says he's innocent, it's okay. We respect him. But he can come to this country. We are in peace in this country right now. If he comes, everybody, everybody going to be nervous against one more. That's why. Hi.